Hello, it's Mrs. Nelson, and today I'm bringing you the book, I'm Happy Sad Today. I know sometimes I feel two emotions at the same time. I'm happy that the school year's ending, but I'm sad because I'll miss my students over the long summer vacation. So today we'll read about a little girl here. She's feeling two emotions at the same time, and that's okay. Happy Sad Today, Making Sense of Mixed Together Feelings by Dr. Lori Britton and illustrated by Matthew Riviera. Sometimes I feel happy, that's all. I feel the noisy, giggling, jump and run kind of happy. And sometimes I feel a different kind of happy. When I'm cozy in my favorite spot with my favorite book, I'm the quiet kind of happy. Other times, I feel sad. Once, I was sick and I couldn't go to my friend's birthday party. I had a crying, nothing's right sort of sad. The day our neighbor moved away, I was a different kind of sad. I didn't smile for that whole day or even part of the next day. Lots of times I have more than one feeling inside of me. Like when my mom picks me up at school, I have to stop playing and I'm happy to see her but I'm sad to leave my friends. I say, Mom, I'm happy sad together. The morning I walked into my new classroom for the very first time, I felt scared and brave together. <laughs> Lots of people feel that way sometimes. Last week, I was friendly and shy at once. I felt too shy to talk to the new girl, even when I gave her a friendly smile. And sometimes I feel nervous and excited at the same time. That's how I felt about my first sleepover. I was nervous for two whole days before it was time to go <laughs> and excited too. One time I had two big feelings swirling around inside. I was sad and mad when my friends wouldn't play with me. I felt sad they weren't being nice and mad they didn't let me play. Both feelings together. When I fall down at the playground, I wasn't sure how I felt or what I wanted. Part of me wanted to be picked up like a little kid. Another part of me wanted to get right up and keep climbing. I had a little kid feeling and a big kid feeling mixed together. I had big feelings when my baby brother was born. I was proud to be a big sister. And I was jealous of all the attention he was getting. I had proud and jealous feelings inside of me. That was confusing. Last week, I learned to cut out a circle with scissors. I couldn't cut a curvy line on my first try, and I was frustrated. I didn't want any help. I was determined to keep trying. <laughs> Finally, I did it. I have more than one feeling inside of me. I don't have to choose just one. I know that all my feelings are okay at the same time. 
if I want to, I could tell a friend my feelings. Or I can tell a grown-up all about my feelings. I can say what happened and how I felt. Sometimes I don't even have to talk. I can just be with someone and feel better. Sometimes when, I, when my feelings are mixed together, I like to pretend. I can pretend my animals have the same feelings I do. I can dance and swirl around, just like my feelings swirl inside of me. Moving helps me feel better. I can even paint two pictures at the same time to show those together feelings. I make up my own words for my together feelings sometimes. If I am sad and mad together, I can say I'm smad. Or if I'm feeling shy and happy, I can say I'm shappy. I can make up a lot of pretend word feelings. And you know what? When I'm older, sometimes I'll still have different feelings mixed together inside of me. And that's okay. And that is the end of our book here. I'm happy, sad today, making sense of mixed together feelings.